Okay, team, here's what's been happening on Ghostwriter. The facts. First, Tina's working for a famous movie star named Lana Barnes, the first female action hero in movie history. She used to do really wild things in her movies, like hang off airplanes and stuff. And Lana's so cool, there's going to be an award ceremony in her honor at the Steadmore Hotel. But the team's really scared that Lana's going to get hurt at the big event. They think Lana has an enemy who's out to get her, because a lot of creepy stuff has been happening. Like, Lana's gotten threatening notes from someone who knows about her movies. Someone keeps calling Lana's house and hanging up. Hello? Someone locked Lana in her garage. And then someone sent her flowers. One live rose and one dead one. That gives me the creeps. Now, here's some new facts from the last show. First, the team figured out where the flowers came from. April flowers. Hey, that's near the Stenmore Hotel. That's where Lana's award ceremony is going to be. Maybe we can get a copy of the guest list. Ghost Rider team is on the case. I love this job. They read the list of everyone staying at the hotel. OK, who's on it? Her first husband, Alan Charles, is here. And her co-star, Stone Harrison. Look, Lana's daughter, Janine Peretti, is here. We can find all these suspects and then ask them for their autographs. So when we're talking to them, we can find out how they feel about Lana. So they talk to Alan Charles. But the team doesn't think he's guilty. And Janine Peretti, Lana's daughter, she looks suspicious. And Stone Harrison, one of Lana's co-stars, the team thinks he might be up to something, too. Then, Ghost Rider sent the team a message. Tori's House of Wigs. That's the one, Tori's House of Wigs. <sighs> this is a big clue. Whoever wrote Tori's Copper Bob on the stationery must be looking for a short red wig, just like Lana's. We did it! Now the team is really getting somewhere. We're going to crack this case wide open. But they don't have much time. The award ceremony is just around the corner, and things are really heating up. So get a pencil in your casebook out and keep track of the clues, because the Ghostwriter team is on the case. Hello, Tina. I, I like you a lot. No, that's lame. Hola, Tina. ¿Qué pasa? She doesn't speak Spanish. Hey, Tina. What's up? Oh, man. Tina, your mother has done a wonderful job on my ruby red gown. That's great. Is anything wrong? Someone has been calling on the phone and hanging up. I'm afraid it's the same person who sent the threatening notes. Oh, pish posh. They're probably just some fans who think they have the wrong number when they hear your voice. But they keep calling. Oh, Tina Poquita. My gown is divine. I've memorized my speech, and I get back just in time to receive a telegram. I'm on cloud nine, sweetie pie. Please don't pull me back to Earth. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is Lana? After all, as the curtain rises, your star will fall. Is someone going to try to hurt you at the award ceremony? No one is going to spoil my big night. Not after I've worked so hard to get ready for it. I wish I were as brave as you. Oh, you are, Tiger. You just don't know it yet. By the way, where is my detective squad? I need an audience. They'll be here soon. They've been out questioning suspects all afternoon. Well, it looks like you're going to be the very first person to hear my entire speech. It is perfectulent. And I know it by heart, Pookie. Hi, Tina, it's me, Alejandro. I'm sorry about all those times I called you up on the telephone and hung up. I just want to tell you how much I really dig you. Dig you? That stinks. Oh, oh, sorry, Papa. I, uh, oh, Ow. Oh, uh, Papa, are you all right? <laughs> I'm fine, Eagle, I'm fine. <laughs> it's 
reminds me of a scene from a Cantinflas movie. <laughs> oh, yeah, Cantinflas. He was a funny guy. Yeah, I used to take all my dates to see Cantinflas comedies. Uh. Why? <laughs> well, because girls made me nervous. But after laughing through a whole movie, I could relax and I could just be myself, huh? <laughs> Did you take Mama to see a Cantifa's movie when you met her? Oh, no. No, your mother was much more serious and I was older when we met. <laughs> your mother used to love to listen to me read poetry. Do all women like poetry? Alejandro, all women are different. Yeah, you're right. Were you ever shy? <laughs> of course. That's why I took all my dates to see those Cantinflas movies. Listen, the trick is to use your imagination. Find out what you both like to do. And then you go from there, huh? Yeah, that's a great idea. So who is she? Uh, who's who? <laughs> Never mind. Now listen, if you ever need to talk, you know that you can always come and talk to your papi, huh? Comprende? Si, papa. Yeah. I gotta go meet Tina now. <laughs> uh, I mean the teen. Uh, Tina Barnes' house. Uh, that's, um... B uh, Lana Barnes house. I'll see you later, Dad. <laughs> oh. The award ceremony is tomorrow. We haven't cracked the case yet. At least we got rid of another suspect. Alan Charles doesn't have a grudge against Lana. I think he's in love with her. Did you find out why Ghost Rider warned us about Stone Harrison? Yeah. A long time ago, Lana told reporters Stone's real name was Archie Bleach and ruined his career. Just because he had a dumb name? No. But when the police found out his real name, they discovered that he'd been a criminal. They put him in jail. That makes him a major suspect. I went to go check out Tory's wig shop. He did sell a copper bob wig to someone staying at the Steadmore Hotel. But the customer was a woman. Who? Oh. Tori didn't get her name or a good look at her. Because she was wearing sunglasses and a scarf over her head. Janine Peretti! She's Lana's daughter and our only female suspect. She's got to be the one. Maybe. Maybe. Look, she's mad at Lana for ignoring her as a kid. And after not speaking to her mother for years, she shows up at the ceremony out of the blue. It's obvious. But wait a minute. What does buying a wig have to do with anything? Alex, she'll probably disguise herself so she can sneak into the ceremony. What about Stone Harrison? He could have sent some woman to pick up the wig. And he could wear it as a disguise, too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you guys, we have to take this seriously. Lana got another threat today, a telegram. Listen to this. Mirror, mirror, on the wall. Who is Lana, after all? As the curtain rises, your star will fall. Sounds like Janine Peretti's gonna strike at the ceremony tomorrow. Or Stone Harrison. Don't forget, he's a criminal. We better keep our eye on him, too. How are we gonna keep an eye on him if we can't go to the ceremony? Who says you can't go? Oh, what a Thank you, Ms. Barnes. Thank you, one and all. Thank you. I guess all that hard work really was worth it. And to show all of you how much I appreciate your hard work, I've got tickets here for all of you and two for two chaperones. Yes! Yes! yes. Can't we bring my grandmother? She loves your movies. Great. And Mr. Smarmworth. He's been a big help on the case. Great for Mr. Smarmworth and for Grandma. <laughs> well, ta-ta, Detective Pookies, for now. Thank you, Mom. Bye. 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 Thank you so much. Awesome. Now we can keep an eye on all our suspects. And if they try to spoil Lana's big night, they're going to have to deal with... 
the Ghost Rider team! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Fancier than my letter carrier of the year banquet. <laughs> hey, Tina, chill. Everything's gonna be fine. Besides, Lieutenant McQuaid said this place is gonna be crawling with undercover cops. You're right. Lana said she was on cloud nine yesterday, and no one can get you up there, right? Yeah, cloud nine. <laughs> right. Her Highness is here! <laughs> I'll be all right for the rest of my life. I was almost crushed to death at the feet of the great Lana Barnes. Oh, come on, Starstruck. Let's find you a seat. <laughs> There's Janine Peretti. Where is she going? Where's her carpet bob wig? Let's find out. Miss Peretti. Are you okay? Oh, I'm just fabulous, Pookie. Why are you leaving? Because my mother, the great movie star, who I haven't seen in years, is too busy writing her speech to speak to me, her own daughter. It's always the same old thing. No time left for Janine. Don't go, Janine. Lana loves you. <laughs> what do you know about it? Oh, Janine. You are more precious than words. I work with Lana, and I know she misses you. Please stay. Well, OK, I'll go back in. But if she doesn't see me after the ceremony, I am never speaking to her again. I kind of feel sorry for her. Yeah, Lana should have let her in, even if she is working on her speech. Lana finished her speech. She knows it by heart. Something's wrong. Gabby, give me your case book. Please go to Lana's dressing room. What is she writing? All right, Ghost Rider! <laughs> Awesome. Neato! Coulter is on the case! Come on! All right! Janine Peretti is going in. I'm going to keep an eye on her. Tina, look! Ghost Rider got the speech. Ladies and gentlemen, I deserve this award. I worked hard. I'm the one who suffered. No actress could have done what I did. Boy, does she sound mad. I never heard Lana talk like that. Lana writes the way she talks. Where's the warm? Where's the friendly? Where's the pookies? Where's the phone? Use that one. This is not Lana's speech. And even if she were writing a new one, it wouldn't sound anything like that. Keep an eye on him. If 
Juan is at home, and Stone and Janine are in the ballroom. Who's in the dressing room? <laughs> Whoever's in that dressing room is using the copper bob wig to make everyone believe she's Lana. And if it's not Janine or Stone up there, we must have overlooked somebody. got to go through this evidence again. Whoever's behind this has got to be here, right in front of our faces. It's got to be a woman, because she looked enough like Juana to fool all of the fans and the photographers when she arrived. Yeah, listen to this. Do you remember me? I remember you. And soon, the world will know who's who. She must be from Lana's past, because she wants to know if Lana remembers her. She has to know a lot about Lana's movies. Look at how she uses the titles to threaten her. Mobster and Mink, you stole my wings of glory and flew all around the world. Dangerous curves ahead, beware. She also thinks Lana stole something from her. Check this out. The queen should be thrown off the throne. She never would have made it on her own. She must think Lana wouldn't have become a star without her. Where's that guest list? It's too late to check out all those people now. You're right. There's got to be a hundred names here. Producer, writer, director, banker, teacher, stunt double. See, I told you she had a stunt double. You said they were men. Roberta Halton is a woman's name. Where's that Stone Harrison picture? Here. She must be the stunt double. Yeah. Who would know what really went on when they made those movies? The stunt double. Who wore the same costumes and hairstyles? The stunt double. Who did all the dangerous stuff? All the exciting scenes Lana was famous for. You ready, Robbie? Scene 33, Runaway Campbell, take 34, Lana stunt double, action! It's gotta be the stunt double. Yes, it must be Roberta Halton. I've got to find out what's going on in that dressing room. Rob, no, it's too dangerous. Oh, are you all right, Miss Barnes? I will be as soon as I get my award. <sighs> Tina, run and get my my costume from the last scene in Mobster and Mink. And, and bring my makeup kit. Hurry, Pookie, hurry. So you know your attacker? Absolutely. Roberta Halton. She's been my stunt double in all my films. She just showed up here unexpectedly. Did she jump you? Oh, she was cotton candy sweet at first, and I was delighted to see her. Then she confessed that she's the one who trapped me in the garage, and then she started babbling on about how she deserved an award, too, and then suddenly, wham, she hits me over the head with my gong mallet. Were you knocked out? Like a punch drunk prize fighter. When I came to, I was tied up and gagged, and, and she was slithering through the door in my ruby red gown. Awesome. I found your dress. Oh, Tina, you're a peppermint lifesaver. Now, let's head Roberta Halton off at the pass.
Ladies and gentlemen, I deserve this award. I worked hard. I suffered. Lana Barnes couldn't... I meant to say, no actress could have done what I did. Going on. Hurry, we have to stop the imposter. They may indeed go into the back. Me and Chad's because they were just. But no Hollywood magic, no trick photography could cover up the truth. What? Lana Barnes is a fake. She stole my life. She stole my career. I faced the danger. Lana! I paid the price, not her. She took all the credit. I was left alone. Miss Walton, you're under arrest. Oh, 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 this is my credit. I deserve the credit. You can't take that away from me. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, you are honoring me here tonight because I was the first female action-adventure star of the silver screen, but I could never have scaled these heights of achievement without Roberta Halton, the first female stunt double in Hollywood. Oh. Roberta did most of the dangerous work, and her talent must not be overlooked. Friends, fans, and pookies from around the world. <laughs> I have wrestled with this speech for weeks, and now somehow it seems inappropriate. I think it's time all my fans, old and new, got a peek at the real Lana Barnes. So tonight, I'm pitching my prepared speech. Your friendship, your love, has given me the courage to speak to you from my heart. My hero, Janine and I have been invited to go horseback riding with Mr. Alan Charles, my first ex-husband. I think he wants to rekindle our romance. Isn't that sweet? Very sweet. Janine, my treasure, would you mind waiting for me in the taxi? I'll be right with you. Hurry, Mommy dearest. <laughs> Why so glum, sugar plum? My job is over. You won't need me anymore. I'll probably never see you again. Oh, pish posh, of course I'm going to need you. I'm sure to get enough fan letters for you to work at least two or three times a week. Do you mean it? But of course I mean it, Bunny Rabbit. And even if I never, ever get another fan letter, I will always need a friend as true as you. Hi, Tina. Your mother told me I could find you here. Hi, Alex. What's up? Uh, well, uh, I've been writing my movie script and all, and... Really? Yeah. And... You know how we both like movies and all. I, uh, I thought you might want to read it with me. If you want. Sure. Uh, you read Tisha, 
And I'll be Alfred. Okay. Hello, Alfred. Why do you look so sad? I have a confession to make, Tisha. What is it, Alfred? Well, Tisha, I've been trying to tell you how much I like you for a long time. But whenever I call you up on the phone, I freeze up and I don't know what to say. Was that you? Was that you, Alfred? Yes, Tisha, that was me. I'm sorry if I scared you. I was just too shy to come right out and ask you if you would like to go to the movies with me, Tisha. Is anything wrong? I'm sorry, Alfred, I can't go. I'd rather go with my good friend, Alex. your head. Right. Ghostar is brought to you in part by Nike. Additional buffs that keep our team supreme come from public television viewers like you and me. The Corporation for Public Broadcasting. The John Dean Catherine T. MacArthur Foundation. The Pew Charitable Trust. And the U.S. Department of Education. But you can't say it all in breath. I bet you can. Ghost Rider was originally produced for the Public Broadcasting Service. Read more about Ghost Rider and the Ghost Rider team in these Bantam books. To purchase Bantam books, video cassettes, or a teacher's guide for programs in this series, contact GPN, P.O. Box 80669, Lincoln, Nebraska, 68501, or call one 800 228 4630.